Hey guys, so today I want to um, give you some songs just to get your mind off of the coronavirus just a little bit for just a little while. So I hope some of these songs are going to be really good for you. That is going to help you take your mind off of the coronavirus. I will say that this is, some of these songs are um, learning songs that I have listened to over the years. And some of them probably won't. There will be one song in particular that is not going to be a learning song. Um, so, the first song that um, I'm going to do is the Shape Song. Here we go. Shaped like a door. I am brother oval, shaped like a zero. I'm sister diamond with a sparkle and a glow. Now I'll weave off the end of each line, and you fill in the word that rhymes. I am mama circle round like a. I'm baby triangle. Three sides have I am Papa Square. My sides are I'm cousin rectangle shaped like a I am brother oval shaped like a I'm sister diamond with a sparkle and a They are the shapes that you all know. We're going on a picnic. We're going on a picnic. We're going to pack a big one. We're going to pack a big one. With sandwiches, cookies, and lemonade. I had not practiced this one, so we're going to skip this one. Oh, here's the, the weather song. Sunny, 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 sunny. This is the tale about the letter A. It makes a special sound. A, A, A. Let's learn another sound. This is the tale about the letter B. It makes a special sound. B, 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 B. Let's learn another sound. This is the tale about the letter C. A special sound. K, 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 k. See, let's learn another sound. This is a tale about the letter D. It makes a 
special sound. Du, 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 du. Let's learn another sound. This is the tale about the letter E. It makes a special sound. E, 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 e. Let's learn another sound.
also comes with a book or you can make your own book or use like a little sentence strip and point to the letters. Hello friend. Hello friend. What do you say? It's going to be Bye. 
another song that is going to be not that one. No. All right. Oh, here we go. Rise and shine. Welcome, Welcome to school today. Rise and shine and Welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. A little bit louder. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. A little softer. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Whisper version. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Here's another fun song that I, that my nieces love. Edition Pokey. <laughs> Put one finger in, put one finger more. Shake them all together and then lay them on the floor. Add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have two in all. Put two fingers in, put two fingers more. Shake them all together and then lay them on the floor. Add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have four in all. Put three fingers in, put three fingers more. Shake them all together and then lay them on the floor. Add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have six in all. Put Four fingers in, put four fingers more. Shake them all together and then lay them on the floor. Add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have eight in all. Put five fingers in, put five fingers more. Shake them all together and then lay them on On your 
shirt, on a shirt, on your head. That was a really fun song for kids that would get them out of their seats. with like for older children you could do it like this use using um, words but if you're doing it with preschool and kindergartners and first graders I would recommend you using like emojis saying like um, happy you would put an emoji right on top of happy and then you can like have like the word you can have like the written word and you can put the emoji on top of the word and once the children have the song down and know the um, motions like say front you would show your the front of yourself so like how I am facing you right now is what you would do with the children. So you would say front and back, front and back, front and back. You get it, right? That's right. So and <coughs> <coughs> and what you can do is like make um you can draw right beside of the word so uh, you can draw a person that is tall and you can draw a person that is short um for open and closed you can draw a door that is open or you can like find um, something on Google about a door that has already been that has been opened 
and that is open. And then um, you can, if your word is a little bit, your writing is a little bit smaller, you can tape your door that is closed on the opposite side of open. Um, for up, you can just draw an up, like an arrow that's pointing up. And then for down, you can do the same thing that you did with up. You can draw an arrow pointing down. Oh, the same thing with the shapes. Once they know the shape song really well, it's like I made like a little T chart right and you can put the shapes on one side and the words on the other so that may like say they don't know what a circle circle is they can look at the word and look at the picture or the drawing that you made and it's just more because uh, that is what is called visual learning Kids in elementary school um, that are in um, preschool and kindergarten and first grade, they are visual learners at that point in time. So they use pictures to tell what the what the song or what that topic is about because like. For example, um, I have a book right behind my desk. They can say, you can say, look at this book. What do you think this book is about? And they can look at the dinosaur and say, without even looking at the top, the title of the book, they can say, oh, I know it's a book about dinosaurs. And so and this is like a really good um, chapter book for first and second graders and third. Say so they can look at a picture in the book. And say, okay, so you see this picture. So tell me, what is happening in this picture? What do you think this page is about? That is what visual learners do. Um, <coughs> so um, I think I have another number song for you. Um, yes, this next song is called Chant and Write. Here we go. You can use this and write down the number two. Zero is where it all begins. Zero is where it all begins.
Number seven is really sizzling. Number seven is really sizzling. Straight across went down and that's a seven. Straight across went down and that's a seven. Number eight isn't very straight. Number eight isn't very straight. Make us then back up four and eight. Make us then back up four and eight. Number nine. today. I hope that I have um, distracted you a little bit from the coronavirus. So I hope that you give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell every time I up so that way you will be uploaded up to date. Crap! <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell every time that I op that I upload a video. So that way you will be notified every time you're on YouTube. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.